Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, please excuse my current living situation. So I went to CVS because my eyebrow pencil broke. The one I got when I went to LA, wow, well, four years ago um, at Daiso, not Daiko, <laughs> the Japanese dollar store. So I broke. And the other day I bought a pencil at CVS. But I forgot the two shades darker rule, I meant lighter rule, so it was way too dark. So today I went to return it, I bought a, some, a, not the same pencil but in a lighter shade, but it, like as soon as I opened it from the box and took it out, like the pencil was broken. Um, I actually tried to stick it in and do it, and so this is the eye with the pencil, but um, it was not, like... It's not practical, so I decided to get so Elf is um, vegan, cruelty free. So I decided to get a brow cream instead. That way, no risk of broken pencils. And while I was there, I also got foundation. So we're going to be testing both products. Um, so, and I'm not using the best camera view. This is the front facing camera and not the other camera. So, this is not going to be best quality. Um, because I was too lazy to figure out the configuration of the other one. But I've never worn foundation in my life. Not like never ever because other people put it on. But I myself have never put it on. Um, and this is in Snow. It says fair with pink undertones. And I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty pink sometimes. So we're going to try on both. This is stuck on here. I'm gonna aggressively rip this open. Okay. Here it is. It's in medium brown. Why am I smelling it? I don't know. But this says you can also be used for eyeliner and eyeshadow, so that's good. So thankfully I can use this because as I mentioned before, I have this very, this is actually a very nice brush. So Sarah probably spent a lot of money on it. But this is the brush um, that I mentioned before in a previous video that my friend Sarah gave. She didn't get me. She did my makeup once and she left it behind. And I was a bad friend and I never gave it back to her. But, oh, did I show you the color already? This is the color. So we use this angled brush. It's very tight. And... Actually, okay, so I've used eyeshadow, an eyeshadow palette to do my eyebrows before. This is the first time I'll ever be using an, a gel. And I previously had a gel to use as eyeliner and that didn't work so well because I didn't have a good brush, I guess. Actually, I had this brush. I don't know, the brush that came with it. So this is the first time ever I'll be using this gel for my eyebrows. So let's see. So we have this actually... I need a mirror. God, it's dark. I can't see anything. How am I supposed to do this? It's been four years since. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's dark. Oh my god, this is so much darker than the pencil. Also, I'm going to take a shower after this. That way, that's why I'm putting on makeup so I can immediately remove it. Usually you're supposed to take a shower and wash your face before makeup. 
but that is not what's going on here. It's so dark, I honestly can't tell what I'm doing. It's just... I'm just putting on a lot of... product on right now. God, I did too much. I did way too much because I couldn't see. Oh my God. Look at this. There's no light. Can I turn on the light here? The light in here is breaking. Oh my god, look at my eyebrows, guys. <laughs> okay, so with this gel, I can definitely create fuller eyebrows. That's for sure. I think I put way too much product on. Well, that was my first time, so. Oh my god, I'm now, now I'm just messing it up. I don't have any makeup wipes with me on. Actually, I do. Let's try this eyebrow. I'm gonna try this one. I'm usually better with my right hand, so I'm gonna... Not a little product goes a long way with gel, for eyebrows at least. This is definitely the good color. A great color because any other color would be too dark. Oh my god, the other side is so dark. I didn't even shape them. I can't see. Okay, this, I will not wear this out. Just gave myself caterpillars. Oh my god. Let's see if I still have the other one. I don't know what this one did. I blame the light, okay? I'm not that bad at applying makeup. I blame the light. I can't see anything. Anyways, those are my brows. I don't know. The rolling, the, what's the saying? The rolling is still out on this, but I'm not going back to CVS too much, too many trips. Now to try the foundation. Peel to open. Oh, it's a little, and I did not buy a beauty blender either because I'm a cheapo. So we're just going to use my hands. Okay, so one face I won't do foundation and one face, one side I'll do foundation. Pop, pop, pop. Oh God. I don't know how much to apply. Um. 
um, we'll just do this face, this side. Oh, I was supposed to test if it matches my face. Does it match my skin color? I don't think so. I think it's lighter. I've definitely pumped out too much. It smells good though. Also, applying makeup without glasses. A lot of work. Okay. This blended. You can't tell the difference. They even blended. Oh, I didn't buy any powders or stuff. So what's the point of foundation? Oh, I completely like forgot to do all the other face stuff I have. I just put on foundation right away. God. Oh, I guess I should put it on my forehead too then. That is. So that will. You will see. The color difference in the forehead. Is there a difference? Does one side look better than the other? Not in this lighting, you can't tell. I still see my pores and blemishes. I have primer, so I don't know the order of everything that you're supposed to put on. I think you're supposed to put on primer first. I also have this milk. cooling water, which I don't know the order of. And then, not that. Um, the milk watermelon serum. So I don't know which one you're supposed to put first. And it's so dark in here, you can't even tell. I have this much product left on my hand because I didn't realize. I underestimated, overestimated the size of my face. So I just put the whole thing on. I might as well just put it all over my face then. I guess I didn't get my chin yet. I can't see. Leave it in the comments below what the purpose of a beauty, tell me what a purpose of a beauty blender is. So why can't I just use my hands? Where should I put this? I feel like my face got wider. White. Uh, should the camera, you'll see. I'm gross. So to see the difference between foundation, well, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but now you can't do that. But I guess with the camera recording everything, you can tell, like, before and after this. I definitely look whiter. But let's put some blush on to see if adding foundation makes a difference. Since I'm not wearing any eye makeup, 
do a more a what's it called a more a more So I just learned that this is how you apply blush like this from the corner of your face and then you go to the apples of your cheeks. I feel like I always apply too much blush. See, see how bright that is? definitely look like a clown now with the eyebrows what one side always looks more bright brighter Oh, and the word was, I was looking for was a bolder look. Yeah, I definitely went with this camera, front facing camera, so that I could see me doing this makeup too. Like a clown. Why is it always so prominent? It's not making it any better. I just look like a clown, guys. What's the point? Should I even attempt putting on bronzer and highlighter? There's no point. I look like a clown as always. Okay, let's we're gonna move to some brighter lights. I should have done this in the bathroom. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I had this bit so oh my god. Look like a clown. It's a look without the glasses. With the glasses, it's a little much. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go shower and wash this off now. <laughs> Bye.